Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a very exciting day because I recently discovered a software that allows you to connect your Gmail, your email to Notion. And it's not just a one-way connection, it's a two-way connection back and forth. This is going to be completely game-changing, especially for ADHDers, for people who are maybe entrepreneurs constantly in their emails. For a long time, I couldn't figure out a way to use email with Notion. And this software, it's called Inbox to Notion, is a game changing. And not only is it game changing, it's actually developed by someone in our community in the ADHD entrepreneur Facebook group that I run. Um, he also has ADHD. So he reached out to me and said, hey, I wanna show you my new software. Would love for you to check it out. And while we were on the call, he started showing it to me and I said, hey, can I like record this? I wanna sh like put this on my YouTube channel. And he said, sure. So the, what you're gonna see is my interview with Nathan, the creator and founder of Inbox to Notion. And it will show you guys how it works. I'm, I don't really even wanna talk anymore because I wanna show it to you guys because it's so cool. If email is something that you're like trying to figure out how to work in with Notion, I find that a lot of people in my community struggle with email, photo organization, and file organization, so using Notion for that. This is gonna be such a game-changing tool. It is free as of now. Um, you can join the waitlist down below, use my link, and, and let them know that you found it through me but eventually I think it will be a paid product. But for now, if you wanna check it out for free and, and, and sign up for the waitlist and, and join and get access, you should definitely check it out. So I'm really excited. Here's my interview with Nathan and he's gonna walk through how it works and why it's so good for ADHDers who use Notion. What's cool is also, I'm gonna be showing you guys in the future how to use it with my template. So if you have the Life Tracker template, um, he also has, I believe, a free template to use for this specific thing as well. So you can definitely check that out um, when you get the when you get access to the software. I'm, I'm Nathan from uh, Inbox Notion, and I just wanted to kind of show you how we're trying to build a layer on top of Gmail to allow you to use like the power of Notion in your inbox. And so I was just gonna walk you through how it works yeah. uh, by, by logging in here. So I'm gonna click in, log into my own account and we log you in with Notion and then you can uh, connect your, whatever workspace you wanna use. So I'm just gonna use my business one here, Active Labs. And the first time around, you can choose the template we provide, but if you've got one of Jenna's templates or someone else's yeah. template that you like, you can actually go through here and oh, select cool. uh, pages in your own template. So I'm gonna go in and select uh, pages I already set up. So I already have our template here. And then okay. I have this like waiting list template for some okay. of my, uh, some of the people signing up. And then you just authorize just the pages you want. You don't have to put your whole databases yeah. in there, but you can if, if you want to. Uh -huh. And then once it's connected, you'll see it's like syncing over here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, then you can actually use these labels on top of Gmail. Mm -hmm. So, so you'll see suddenly I've got oh. these these labels showing up. So these cool. these represent these represent things I've already added into my um, into my Notion. And like this is uh, somebody uh, who's who's trying Inbox Notion and uh, wanted to give us a testimonial. And so I I I tagged mm -hmm. them there. And I'll just I'll show you a new email just as an example. I'm trying to pick one that's not actually personal information. So mm -hmm. I'm signing up for Rewardful yeah. so that people can refer yeah. us uh, and and get uh, get benefited from it mm -hmm. for the Notion consultants out there and everything. <laughs> so if you click you click the plus icon which yeah. we've added here, now okay. oh, you wow. I've already got my Notion database here. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. So I can add a comment if I want. I can add tag somebody. So if I want to tag my wife, who's my oh. business partner, I can I can type my comment there, and then. If I want, I can actually change this subject. Like it automatically puts the subject from the email. But if I want to, you know, say something else, like uh, you know, I'll just put your name there. Okay. And uh, and then I can say, what's the status? Okay, we're gonna follow up with with Jenna. I'm gonna set a due date that I want to do that on, like the 18th. And I can even these are all coming from your database. So whatever you've got in your database will show here. Um, and so I can just say it's urgent. I can, if I want, I can assign someone. Uh, like this, and then go ahead and save. And when it saves that to Notion, um, it's creating a page over Notion right now, and then it's tagging it here. So you can see the seven day, um, you know, oh due date gosh. there. You can see that it's urgent. And I can even see Sharice's face there, knowing that it's assigned to her uh, to follow up or whatever. Can you and show me what it looks like? I... <laughs> yeah, so can you show me what it looks oh. like in Notion too after? Sure. Yeah. So yeah. like right here, I've got the little Notion icon. If I click okay. that, it's going to actually open up the Notion oh. page directly. Wow. And there's 
basically there's the page of the database. Now, depending on the content of the email, it might not be so great because that content, mm -hmm. that email didn't have much to show, but yep. it will put the HTML, it'll try to put an HTML version of the email in the in that space. Okay. Um, and then if you go up one, this is our um, inbox mastery template that we okay. made to kind of go with the product. Yep. Um, so you've, you've got a Kanban board that you can drag things around. And so this is all my emails right here. Oh. I can filter it. I can access it. I can go to the, I can go to the board view if I prefer, or like a, a list view by status, all that. Uh, and again, if you use your own template, it would just be connected to your own template, not ours. Um, okay. and I've got one other little fun surprise is on the sidebar here. We also have like a little pipeline view. So you can actually, so you can That's actually so see cool. this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I love like, your I've been looking for I've been looking for like a, like a CRM in my inbox and there's like, there is some options, but now this works with notion too. This is going to be right. amazing. Wow. That's what, that was our thing. Like, like why, why have a CRM on top of your inbox that then yeah. connects to other places when you yeah. want it in the place that you're doing everything totally. else, right? Wow. This so, is awesome. This is way more <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yeah. Cause like, I think a lot of people just think it's a template or something. And so it's a little bit harder to understand, but like now yeah. I can see this, I can see this mm. email. It's there. I can see the follow-up. If I've got some filters, yeah. we're starting to work on building it out. But if I only want to see what I have to do, then I can just put oh. to do. If I only want to see what's for follow up, I can I can flip it. Uh, if I just want to see stuff that is like due today or yesterday oh. or the next seven days, so I can filter it down. And all I got to do is you know, follow up with you in the next seven days. Uh, and we're working on improving this like right now. Um, but I've also got a link here that goes right okay. back to that page. So if I want to see it in, in Notion. Just okay. go right back and I can see it all over there. Oh, again. wow. So when you change all the statuses in the inbox, it automatically changes them in Notion as well? Right. So if, if I go here, uh, let me find that one that I just did. Okay. So this one here, if I click on this label and I want to change the status, it pops up here and I can just change it oh, uh, wow. here and, and save it again. And now it's changing it, but it's changing it here and in Notion at the same time. And if I go over to Notion and I change it, uh, okay, so I'll change this over here yeah. and I'll, let's make it as waiting on, and then I'll close this. Mm -hmm. And basically a, a little bit of time it'll change, but if I reload the page, uh, it'll, it'll definitely, it'll change immediately. But like normally in the background, we check and then update it. Mm -hmm. um, so there you can see oh, it's wow. already marked as waiting on. Oh, so that means like, cool. that means when you come back to your inbox, you see the email, like if, if somebody emails me back and bumps that email to the top, all those labels are there. The direct location where I put that stuff is there. So I, I don't lose that connection because like most of the other tools that I've seen out there, like you, you put it into notion and then you don't remember, you don't know if you put it in notion, you're not sure what happened. And for us, like a lot of people with ADHD, right? Out of sight, yes. out of mind, right? Yes. Like <laughs> you send it over to Notion and you forget you send it to Notion. So then you do it again mm -hmm. uh, or you like you're over there and then you can't find the original email. But we actually have that. Um, we also solve that kind of problem too, because if I go to the Notion page, uh, we added a field for Gmail link. So if I click on this, it just takes me right back to the Gmail as well. So if you're in Notion and you want to get to the email, you just click on it and you're back over here. Oh, that's a good thing. Cause I think that's the thing with mm -hmm. um, a lot of the, pl the plugins for sure. It's like, you just send mm -hmm. it one way. This seems like it's two way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it's two ways. It's, it's, it's two way connection. Mm -hmm. Button or mm -hmm. whatever the Chrome extension is where you can save like mm -hmm. website pages. That's just a one way. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Like a lot of, a lot of tools are like that. Even for email, like a lot of the tools for email, not to like dog anything else. Mm -hmm. Like there's, there's definitely some good reasons to have like email forwarding, like a lot of the tools. So you have to forward it to some address to get to, to do the work of it, or you have to use like a work, a Google workspace add on. But when you mm -hmm. do that, it all, it only sends it over. It doesn't keep the connection. So you don't know that you've done it. There's no connection back to it. There's no status. And so all that stuff is to me, the most important part is just like seeing that right in my inbox, being able to click on it and change it. If like, if I get a call or maybe the person replies, says, Hey, I can't do Friday. And now I've got this due date set for Friday. Well, I just, I just click on this and I change it to another, you know, to whatever it is. And then I'm done. I can save that and we're back to it. And yeah. one other thing I didn't show you is the comments thing. Oh. If, if you're working with other people, people mm -hmm. you can click on comments and we show the comments in in here and you can actually reply again 
So um, when you're when you're commenting back and forth, like if you're working with someone else, maybe you're um, a, a business owner and you've assigned it to someone on your team, they're working on it in Notion and they make a comment. Well, you can click here and you can see those comments. And so you can update them. And if and then we have a little refresh button so you can check and see if there's any comments yeah, if, you, if wow. they're not there. So there's a lot of like functionality that's built around the entrepreneur side of things. Like um, people who have a virtual assistant that maybe they're signing stuff to and getting it back. Well, if I'm waiting on this response mm -hmm. and then I click on here and I see there's a comment, oh, okay, good. I can reply back and say, it's done. Hey, it's done, you know, <laughs> or something like that, right? Uh, it's wow. it's pretty so it's pretty cool. amazing for us. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten some really good feedback. Yeah, I was gonna say this is really good for like teams if everyone is using this extension too for mm -hmm. the most part. I mean, or, but they can also or, do it. Or, or, yeah, exactly. If they want to use, if they all want to use this, they can. But they can also not be in here, just be in Notion, and it's still beneficial. Um, so this is this is uh, the website, and we've got um, okay. We've got a variety of um, testimonials already that just that have been coming yeah. in from people. So um, I'm, I'm we're happy to see the feedback because we've been working hard on it. We we really yeah. thought it was going to be useful, but to see people saying like this is a game changer, which sounds cliche, but like I think once oh. once we people start using it, it really connects. You know, I mean that's the mm -hmm. other thing I teach is email organization. Like that is one of my mm. like things I teach inside of my course is like I okay. use the color system as more of an organizational tool, not so much like using it with Notion. Right. There was no way to do that before, but this could even like, you could even set up. Yeah. Custom. So are you able to set up like custom colors or is that kind of just <clears throat> set up right now? With uh, the color, the colors actually match up with your database. So whatever your database. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Whatever your date, whatever your database oh. colors are basically so like we're not using okay. we're not using the muted the muted uh, notion tones mm -hmm. but we're using the color so if it's if it's if it's orange over in notion it'll be orange gotcha. here if it's gotcha. yellow it'll be yellow here and and actually I didn't show you that so that's a, I'm glad you asked that question yeah. so if I go if I go here I'm just trying to pick a random email mm -hmm. like Damon from testimonial but um if we go here you can when you choose your database Mm -hmm. So I, you you get you can have as many databases as you want. Oh, here. really? You add, okay. Yeah, okay. you can add you can add all the ones you want from your own oh, setup. So like you could put it in like a project, and then you could put it in a different project if it's for one project. Sure. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. So you can so basically here, like I'm in my inbox task, but if I go to inbox waiting list, now this is all the people that on the inbox notion waiting list that I'm just tracking them there. And so it's a completely different database with different uh, fields. And those fields are different that will show up here. And um, when you set it up, you actually choose, what do I want to be the status? Um, you know, what do I want to be the due date field? So like if your database doesn't match the terms that we use, doesn't matter, you can find uh, what you want. And then you actually turn on the labels you want to see in the inbox. So if you oh. if you want the notes field or you want a priority, or if you don't want those fields, you can turn them off. And so right now we allow you to have three in the in the in the inbox. So based on your data, like you could you could use this with your um, life and business template. Mm -hmm. And yep. you just you just find where the inbox, where the task inbox yes. is in your system yeah, and it. then add that to in, add that to inbox notion. And now your tasks from email could go directly into that task inbox in your in your notion template and you'd have all the fields that you think are important from your template showing up here in that's the screen. so cool mm -hmm. it's kind of like mm -hmm. having like zapier without zapier right it's kind of like having... well, exactly well yeah zapier the problem with zapier the problem with zapier is you have to think ahead about all the things yeah. that might might be need to be done and here you can just do it manually on the fly when you see it we don't we've yeah. actually gone sort of like we're not anti-automation i definitely want to add automation in the future but i feel like the automation is where like there's already things out there for automation yeah. but the problem is is like a lot of us a lot of people just don't have an automation mindset like True. they they just like see the thing and know what to do with it but now if they have to go to zapier and configure something like anytime this person emails mm -hmm. send it over here it's just a little bit too much work yeah. and i um, think also it's like something that we use every day versus some of the right that like, for example, I use mm -hmm. like uh, uh, email funnel software that like, right. so I, I use Zapier to connect it to another tool, but like, that's just all I need is automation. This is like a direct, this is almost like using yep. used Tally before. Um, tally forms? 
Yeah. yeah. So talent yeah, yeah. has a direct connection to Notion. So it's like yes. it has like a really slick like connection. So it's kind of like mm -hmm. this, where it's yeah. where you put directly into Notion versus having to like configure a mm -hmm. bunch of stuff to even get them to yeah. connect each other. That's awesome. Yeah, we're using we're using Tally for our feedback survey oh, to, cool. to send yeah. out to people. Yeah. And I, the, the other thing is if you have more than one workspace, if, if it's under the same email address, mm -hmm. we can, you can actually switch between them. Oh, so like, oh. so you can switch between them to put yeah. stuff in your personal one or your business one. Oh, so you've got that, just, that you've ability. You've got everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. We, yeah. we tried. I mean, a lot of it's trial and error. I, I'm a, I'm the first user, right? Like I, this yeah. is what I want. And I like, I'm trying to solve and meet my own need. And so in the process, like I'm thinking about the things because I ran into the problem, like, oh, I want to be able to do this. Okay, let's get yeah. it. Let's build that. Oh, yeah, I want to do that. Let's build that. So that's the, that's the main, uh, that's the main. So, so uh, is this uh, now available and, or is this still a wait list or how does this work? Yeah, it's, it's available. Um, you can, you can go to the website and request access um, okay. at the top. And um, once you fill that form out, uh, basically we'll get an email and we ask you if you want early access, just reply back and say, Hey, and if you want, actually, if, if people are seeing this mm -hmm. reply back and say, Hey, and tell, tell you, tell us you heard about it. Yes. Jenna. <laughs> and then, and then that way I'll know where, where people are coming from yeah. and uh, you're, you're a fellow ADHD or like me. Yeah. And so that'll, that'll be uh that'll be great. That's mm -hmm. awesome. So is it free it's, it's, or, or how much does it cost? I was just going to say it's, it's free right now. And okay. we're trying to, we're, we're, we're working on figuring out how much we want or we should charge for it. So um, everybody can sign up, use it for free. And then when we, when we do launch it, anybody on the early access will get a special deal, you know, on, on um, when we do launch it, um, we do launch yeah. the paid version, but you'll have access to everything right now. That's awesome. And, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I feel like this cool. is going to be more useful than a lot of the tools that I've seen just in general. Like, Thanks. I, Cause it's just like, I appreciate email, it. email is like the thing that I think most of us re, mm -hmm. like spend a lot of our day in, like we spend a lot of yeah. time. In, and I think mm -hmm. like, yeah, turning that into a to-do list is hard for me. It's like, I have to mm -hmm. constantly have it in my head. And I think this is going to really, it's, it's almost like when mm -hmm. Notion calendar came out, which this then can, all those right. now can be put into the calendar once they become exactly. Notion yep. too. That's what I was yep. thinking. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're working on the, we're working on an update right now because uh, I think for the Notion calendar, it needs the time on it, but I'm double checking like to get it into the Notion calendar, mm -hmm. but that's exactly what I'm thinking too. Yep. Yeah. Get it on the, get it on the calendar. And you know, the Notion calendar people, some people are kind of rumoring that maybe Notion will launch an email um, app, but we're all really integrated into Gmail. And so I think like yeah. this does kind of feel like Notion email, you know, to me, like now I've got all the labels in there. I've got the workflows and I mean, it's surprising to me that email hasn't had these features, you know, to start with, like, it's just, it's really frustrating that we have this input uh, device where all this stuff is coming in and there's no workflow tools, you know, it just, yeah. it's just, it, so I think this, this, the goal here is to make a, a layer of workflow on top of email that makes email not monotonous and frustrating. And, and like you said, we have a couple people that are like um, uh, virtual assistants that work with, with mm -hmm. um, their clients and they've been installing this and using it to where they, the client, like, uh, you know, we're, we're working, we want to work on some more improved features, like for that use case where you're delegating your inbox to someone else, but it's already doable where, where you can log into the same inbox and now you both see the labels. And so you can both see what is set up. So someone could go into your inbox essentially do all this labeling on it. And then you could log in and see all these things already set up for you. So it's like, Oh, I know what's important, what the mm -hmm. priority is. And, and I think like you made a really valid point, like a lot of people will use notion, but they'll kind of forget about it, especially with ADHD, because yeah. it's like you set it up and then you don't look at it. But the, the cool part about this for me is that you you're looking at notion every day because you're looking at your inbox every day and all the stuff you added in notion is also over here. And it's yeah. going to remind you, Oh, I, I forgot. I put that due date over notion for this you know yes i think that the disconnect is what keeps people frustrated like it, it's it's yes. like it's like the you're right like it's the save it and then do, and forget about it is <laughs> thing that yeah. i like like for me and then maybe down the road one of the things i wish was there was a uh, giant inbox for everything because i have facebook messages yeah. I've got linkedin messages yep. i've got I've got Twitter comments. Mm -hmm. Like it's like having to I, come, wait, where did that person did they text me? Did they email yeah. me? That to me is yeah. the big thing that like I wish there was like one giant inbox where I have yeah. all the messages, but I don't know if that yeah. will ever happen. But 
I really, I do want something like that too. Like, uh, in, like I work, I do consulting on intercom as well. Okay. And, uh, intercom, like that's, that's one of their main goals is to be like mm -hmm. an omni channel where you go into one thing and you've got the, the stuff for your business coming from mm -hmm. all these different areas, you know? So, yeah, I, I think it's, 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 it's a necessary problem. Like I'm a community builder uh -huh. as well. And so I've got like, I've got DMS and messenger. I've got Facebook mess. I got WhatsApp messages. I got Facebook yeah. comments. I got, and you, you're a community builder. You've got your, you know, you've got lots of people on Facebook groups. So you know what it's like, like, you know, I mean, letting people in, you yes. know, proving that posts is, and like oh, all that this is stuff. A, yeah. I have a system mm -hmm. for that. I screenshot every single person that comes in and then have to manually oh, wow. add my email list. And oh, so wow. because they actually got rid of some of the Chrome extensions, I think that were able to do that, but, but like, so okay. that, been, but I found a, a software that allows me to just copy text off of images. Oh yes, that's good. So like, mm -hmm. so it's like one of those systems. So like now it's faster, but like I, it mm. takes me a month to gather up a couple hundred names, then I'll go and add mm -hmm. them to my CRM. But it's like, I wish there mm -hmm. was more auto optimization, at least for having sure. a Facebook group. That would be yeah. nice. Like at this point, that's all I can do. And I mm -hmm. think I've, I've, I've automated and optimized a lot of other parts of my business and a lot of other tools, but it's mm -hmm. like as much as you can optimize and automate, like the better. And I think yeah. this is a great tool for like yep. just thinking your notion life and your, and your email life, which is basically from at least a lot of business owners. It's like a huge yeah. part, you know, yeah. well, it. like, like you said, like the reason why you integrated, like you brought your templates together, the life and business in the same yes. thing, because yeah. it's really hard to, to find mm -hmm. that demarcation point between where yes. your life ends and where your business yes, ends. Totally. Like it's, it's all integrated, right? So it is. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I, I use my 13 pillar system as my like organization <laughs> tool. So that's what I teach mm -hmm. on the channel is how to organize your life into 13 pillars. And that's how I organize my inbox as well. What's nice yeah. is with, if you're already using Gmail, you can still apply tags to those yes. right? you can add filters mm -hmm. even within Gmail and then have these on top of that. So yeah. it's like, you can have like them organized into the different like labels, but you can also have them in notion, which is really cool. Yeah, I think it, you're right. It gives you it gives you the both both benefits. Cause like, if I asked you to start using a new email client today, mm -hmm. You know, that's another whole ask, like yeah. that's a whole other problem, but, but being able to use the email program you're familiar with, use the labels, use the filters you're used to, and then also add this layer of notion on top of it. Like to me, that seems like the best, uh, both worlds. So yeah, yeah that's it's, awesome. it's pretty fun. I'm so, I'm so happy to hear your feedback. I'm looking forward to you like yeah, trying it out. I and I, I'm sure you'll have suggestions and uh, feedback for us to improve on it too. We've already, we've already got a list of like uh, feedback, like uh, things people want, like wish list items. And we've got ideas that we want to put into it, yeah. integrating some, integrating some AI and some automation and different things into it. But this is the, this is the foundation. And as we get more feedback, we'll keep working on it. So. Yeah, that's awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I am going to be using this software um, when I get access to it and I will be able to show you guys maybe a tutorial of how I personally use it once I start like getting really used to it and it's becoming part of my daily life. I do, I have done a lot of videos about email and I want to continue that and this is going to be a really, really big step. I love the idea of having a CRM in my inbox and all the things that Nathan has thought of for ADHD Sears is just mind blowing to me because it's like exactly what I need. So if you want to check it out, make sure to click the link below um, my affiliate link um, so that they start to track my referrals because I would love to know how many people are getting sent over from, from my YouTube channel. So I hope that you guys check it out. It is again free right now um, on the wait list. I hope you guys join it and make sure to join our Facebook group too. It's called Notion for ADHD Entrepreneurs. We are going to be doing more content around um, running a business, um, using Notion as well as other tools. So I'm super excited. If you like marketing advice or if you like different marketing tools, I'm definitely going to be coming out with more videos on those because those are my, some of my favorite things to teach is marketing, um, especially social media and content and, and video editing and, and sales funnels. All those things are coming soon. So make sure to check out all my links below, all my templates, courses, all the stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.